if you're here, give us a sign. What's up guys? It is John here. I am with my boy Michael. He has brought us to a crazy location tonight. We are at an abandoned paper mill. With, also with Tim from Breaking the Shell. Now this place has a lot of history guys. There's been several deaths here which I'll explain as we walk through. And it's been abandoned for quite some time. There's several buildings. So let's get to it guys. Follow right, us. guys. Huge shout out to Michael for bringing us here to this location tonight. Now there has been a lot of deaths that has occurred here. One in particular is they found a man who was completely decapitated. And the crazy thing about this is they never could identify him. He, 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 they never found his head. So what happened was is they wound up burying him here in town and we're gonna go there later. And he's just marked as John Doe. So we're gonna go check that out guys as we approach our first building here. We're gonna check this out. Now, what building was this? This is one of the offices. One of the office buildings? Some of the outside here, guys. Definitely looks like it's had some vandalism. Instantly. Colder. Oh, and what's the first thing we find, guys? A turret. In here is, I guess, where they would come. Looks like a shower room. Yeah, you got the drain right here. Noisy building, huh? You see some pipes, things down through here. I always love these little hidden corridors. This looks creepy down through here. Even creepier down that way. I'm guessing this was some kind of washroom. The whole building maybe. There's a pea turlet. This place is said to be super haunted. This is a room here that a man was found dead with no reason. They didn't know why they found a man dead right here in this corner. And uh, he had, his natural causes, I believe that he had just passed away in here. But uh, super creepy, you know, someone passed away right there. There's some old ear plugs. And in here looks to be I don't know what this is, maybe where they would eat. Kind of a cafeteria. Oh no, it's kind of creepy. What was that? Can one of y'all just throw something in here? <laughs> something fell or was thrown in here, one. Spooky. What's in here? outside. Oh, it's getting blurry. These doors here look creepy. Again, people like to draw winners. This leads to outside here. Oh, wow. Didn't see this section. is in a massive state of disrepair over here. The whole thing's bad, but the section here's real bad. There's something real, sp hearing all kinds of noise. I think it's water dripping, but it's just, gives you the super creepy factor. Hello? Looks like a... Heating and air unit. 
This goes back outside here. I see something through the trees there. I think it's another building, but I'm not sure. There's an old sofa or something out here. And like I said, there's been several deaths here. The most notable is the man who was decapitated. But you also have a gentleman who fell off one of the big buildings that's on the other side of the property here that had passed away. And then there's also a man that got crushed by machinery. But Michael does know a guy who's still alive who got his arm ripped from him and is now armless. And he's still alive to this day. That uh, this is a ter terribly tragic injury. But uh, this building here, man, is giving me the creeps. So I'm, I'm gonna go find the other guys and, and carry on that way, so let's go. This looks creepy through here, almost like the wall is bleeding. I'm sure it's just rust, but it still gives an eerie feel to it. Okay, we're at this next building. Oh, and there's a bunch of clothes right here. It makes me eerie. There's some evidence of squatting here. Oh yeah. Okay guys, this building has a very 1970s vibe to it. Looks like the laboratory here. Big barrel of purge water. Hello? So what's going on over here? Goes back outside over here. Thought I heard something outside. I think it might be one of them coming through her. Kind of echoing. It's a weird. This is a vault. Yeah, this was a vault. Crazy, they got the door removed from it. You guys, I found a vault. A vault. The door's gone. 5.15 an hour. 1996 to 1997. That's what I made when I first started. 5.15 an hour. Alright guys, so we're here at the maintenance building right now. It's pretty sketchy here. I'm going to focus on getting up here and then I'll be right back. That could hurt, guys. It's a pit full of water. And this awning has collapsed here. So you gotta be careful, it's kind of a Concrete. deadly walk under oh, in the maintenance building. Looks like somebody's ransacked this place. They have even more since I've been here last time. So you know a guy who had his arm ripped off, right? He had his arm ripped off while right on the job here. Oh wow. If you would like, you can fill this out for your uh, employee vacation. Ooh, I want some vacation. I want to go on another road trip. 2001. They're waiting on Mitch to install padlocks on the doors. Lots of bricks, lots of opportunity to break an ankle through that wall there. That's part of the really old section. There's holes everywhere here. What was that? Something just made a crashing sound over here. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I was gonna stop this clip, but. Oh man, this building's massive. I don't break an ankle getting over here. Oh, oh. 
whatever it was come from down there. Did it really? Yeah. Wow, this building's huge. Okay. These stairs look a little sketchy. Shit, I'm not freaked out. Wow. I saw this light down there and it was too. Oh. Now how safe is these floors? They're safe. Come on. Safer in this platform I'm on. Look how big this is. This is the mill, guys. And this was not, that board was not here the last time. It was the same. Don't stay off the boards. No, the boards. Yeah. Oh. Look at this piece of machinery here. Now this is where, right over here is where the guy got mangled up in the machine and died, right? Yes. Now, where did your friend get his arm ripped off? Was it in here as well? It was in a building that would go that way. Okay. The press room, and they would press the paper to get the water and stuff out of it before they dry. And it don't exist anymore, right? No, it don't exist anymore. Look how creepy this building is, guys. I hear a train. Oh, watch out for that hole. This is not a place to bring James. Like the mine yeah. See, this is where they put the paper, and they would churn it around in certain parts underneath here. And that's where the guy got crushed, is from the paper coming out of the back of the transfer truck into here. Oh, so he was down there. He was down there. So that's where they see a ghost all the time, is down there. Yes. And the guy they actually, the guy that was decapitated, his body was right back there. Yeah. The workers we're gonna found go, him. We're going to go right behind here, guys. There's a guy found decapitated right behind this building. Is there anybody in here with us? So many holes in this place. As bestest is the bestest. Check this machine out here. What is left of it that scrappers haven't disassembled. Man. A big drop. It definitely would break a leg. We heard noise coming from the basement when I was walking up here. Now over here is where the... What was that? Did one of y'all... Did that come from down there? Hello? Be careful, man. Is there somebody down there? Hello? We gotta go down there. Sound like they yeah. took off running if there is. Or if there's somebody messing with us. Anyways, what I was saying, it was right when I was talking about the guy I found decapitated back here. There's some stuff right here. He was found right back here, guys. He was decapitated. We're going to go down there and check it out. Follow us. We're all power. All right, guys. Right here is where they found the decapitated body. The John Doe. And we're going to go see his grave here in a little bit. But it was found right here, guys. I'm going to go night vision. And we're going to see if we can catch anything. There we go. Night vision. They're still walking around back here. I'll wait till they calm down. All right, we're going to, I'm going to do an EVP session, guys, so right. hold still. Is there anybody out here with us? How did you get decapitated? No one knows your name. Now would be a good time to tell us your name so we can get clarification for you. 
What was your name? I just heard something right through those weeds. Hello? Did y'all hear that? All right, if you want me to go, I'll go. Hopefully you talk to us. Let's start something right here. I'm hearing stuff all around me, guys. Why did they murder you and leave you here without your head? Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay guys, we're in the basement where the guy was killed. This is interesting. Some kind of machinery or something processed through this hole here. Now over here, I won't go straight to where the guy was crushed. If you remember earlier, we were standing over this hole and we heard something crash down here. It had to be right here. Yeah, over there's where we had to hurt it. Okay, guys, I want to ask a few questions here while well, I got Tim and Michael here with me. What's your name? If you're here, give us a sign. We're hearing stuff down here, now we're hearing stuff down up there. If that was you, do it again. That was creepy, dude. That was so creepy. It was. It sounded like it was right there. It sounded like it was like right on that piece of plywood. That was the same sound as when you step on it. Yeah, because it made that popping sound. Yeah. Guys, if you heard that, please comment down below. You know, that was. Trying to get my camera up. Well, but it feels like it's getting a little colder. It, it is way colder in here than it was. You can see my breath. See? Yeah. Well, thank you for giving us that sign. We're gonna leave you be and check out the rest of this basement. There's a book down here too. Well, this is cool guys, check this out. Oh man. You can see like the inner workings there, a little bit of the machinery. That's crazy. There's all kinds of ankle breaking trenches down here. There's some kind of operating motors here. That operates the police system. Look at these. They've been robbed, but these old boxes that's rusted out. Okay, guys, we're approaching this last building, and there's an overwhelming smell of sulfur. Tim's gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Michael's going in over here. It is terrible. This building's really eerie. Dude, <laughs> that was creepy. Michael's messing with the whole one. I hope that's Michael. Is that you, Mike? He's not answering me. <laughs> that was creepy, dude. What's that? Sticking your fingers to the wall. Did it look good? Look crazy. <laughs> He's pulled one on me, guys. We'll go back here. This place has been destroyed. Just 
not a whole lot left here. And there's Tim. Oh. Oh, just got a little blurry. Here, a choo choo train out there. That really creeped me out for some reason. Bird's nest. Now guys, you may remember this building. I'm actually fixing to do a live stream here for you guys. We've got really good signal. So you'll remember this from that live stream if you were there. All right guys, so we pretty much explore what we can explore here on the property. We're gonna to go to the grave site of John Doe, the man who was found decapitated. See if anything happens there, just to show you this. It's actually a grave that says John Doe on it. They never could identify the man. So that's exciting. So. That'll be our last stop.